Hey guys, so today's video is going to be on my favorite drugstore pink lipsticks. So if you want to see what my current faves are, uh, then just keep on watching. Okay, and before I get started, I just wanted to mention really quickly that I am wearing a China Glaze uh, Dance Baby on my nails. Just in case any of you guys will be wondering later on. So, that's that. And I'm, I'm loving this color, you guys. I got them done at the salon, but I want to... Um, buy this for myself to keep. All right, Love so this I'm going to start off with the cheapest um, lipsticks first and then go into the most expensive one. In the color 907C, which is this color right here, it's actually kind of like a mauve -y color. Whoops, oh, I got it on me. But um, it's more like of a pinky mauve if you can see that I love this this on my lips looks amazing so and these are the ones that look like this um, excuse the dirtiness of it but they range between a dollar to two no more than two dollars and they're really good the second color I have is C901B and it's really really um, like a baby pink so I love that now these could be a little bit drying so um, I do like using lip gloss on top of these or like a lip balm or anything because on their own they're not very moisturizing, they're kind of drying. But the color is wonderful, I love it. So for one to two dollars, you know, you really can't go wrong. Okay, moving on to a couple of NYX lipsticks and believe it or not NYX is only four dollars so these are the second cheapest on my list and this is just the lipsticks that I have um, there's a couple of brands that I ha I don't have in here I didn't include because either I don't own any of those brands or like MAC I'm gonna do a separate video for that so yeah so there's NYX and these are four dollars each and I have three colors that are my absolute favorite and they are let's start off with this one Harmonica, this one right here, beautiful on my lips, I love it, and then I have Narcissus, this is the brightest Barbie pink lipstick here. Can you see that? Ooh, I hope you can. That's that one. It's Narcissus. And then the third one is Power. So this one is more like of a purpley pink. And let me swatch it here for you. There it is. So you see the range of different colored pinks that you can have? Look at Harmonica, it almost looks white. Anyway, so these are um, amazing. I love these lipsticks. They don't have any kind of smell or anything to them they're just great and they're actually moisturizing not like the wet and wild ones so that's that okay moving on to Rimmel Rimmel I have three and I have um, different kinds I have the moisture renew and then these one are just the um, what is it the lasting finish so two of these and one of this these are Rimmel and let's go ahead and start with the Moisture Renew. This one is the, in the number 220 Pink Chic. And here's the color. This is what it looks like. It's beautiful. And I'll swatch it right here. That's the color right there on the end. These are also very moisturizing and look beautiful on the lips. And the price for this one is about $5.47-ish. So it's between five and six dollars for this one. And then let's go ahead and go into these. This one is Airy Fairy, um, number 70. And it's kind of like a nudie pink. Oh, I love it. It's more like of a nudie pink color. Oh my gosh, I'm loving all these pinks. So Airy Fairy is very uh, universal. You can wear it as a nude. If you wear certain clothes, it looks kind of like a pink. 
So um, I love this lipstick. If you're going to get any from the three that I'm showing you right now, from Rimmel, Airy Fairy is one of my favorites. Okay, and then this third one is number 06, Pink Blush. And here's what that one looks like. And let me do a swatch. And here's the swatch for that one. So those are all my pinky swatches. Let's move on. And I love this one as well. So moving on to Revlon. Revlon has the biggest variety of lipsticks and colors out there. And um, I have four favorites to show you. And they range between $4.97 to about $6 depending on where you get them. So let's go ahead and start. The first one I'm going to show is called Pink Pout and it's in number 02. And it looks like this. Pink Pout I've been using like crazy. That's why it looks like this. I love this. I'm actually wearing it on my lips today. Topped off with a gloss but here we go with the swatch. Right there. Beautiful color. I have a backup for this. And then the next one is a cream. Oh yeah, and um, Pink Pout was a matte. The next one is a cream and it's called Primrose number 668. And it's just this beautiful, beautiful color. And of course I've been using it like crazy, so... Okay, let's do a swatch. So this one is in cream. So when you put it on, it's creamy, it's not matte, and it's moisturizing. The next one I have is number 12, Sky Pink, and this one is beautiful as well. Most of them are so dirty. And here's a swatch for that one right there. I love this one as well. And then the last one is in the color Stormy Pink, and it's a matte, number 11, beautiful matte pink. And let's apply it right here, right there. Gorgeous, gorgeous color. Stormy pink is amazing, amazing. I only have one from CoverGirl and it's a really bright pink one. This one is called Enchantress, number 365. And it's also a bright Barbie pink color. And it's really moisturizing and really nice on the lips like the bright pink like I do um, you won't go wrong with this one and and this one's actually around five six dollars okay I only have two more to show you and they are Maybelline the first one is color sensational and it's in the number fuchsia fever in 140 also a bright Barbie pink color I've used it in a tutorial here before but here it is compared to the other, here, oh my goodness, I'm so lost. Here it is compared to the other one that I just swatched, um, what was it, the CoverGirl one. So this one is a deeper pink, that one is more like a Barbie lighter pink. But this is a beautiful color. Also very moisturizing, no problem with that. Now the next one is the most expensive one. This one ranges from about six to ten dollars at the stores and it's the super stay 14 hour lipstick and I have the color um, perpetual peony in number 05 here's what it looks like and here okay I'm running out of spaces to swatch here's what it looks like okay that's like a super bad angle <laughs> here here's what it looks like right here and and it actually stays on your lips quite a while and I really like it the only thing that I don't like about this lipstick is the smell it has a weird smell to it I don't know why they do any products at all with smells like I don't understand the smells I mean if it was a good smell you know like cupcakes or something that would be better like some MAC lipsticks smell amazing I love them but this one smells a bit weird if you don't mind the smell these are actually pretty good and last a long time on your lips. Like, I've applied this, um, wore it pretty much the whole day, at least four hours at a time, and, you know, if you don't eat or drink, 
and I think that's wonderful for a lipstick. So, um, yeah, if you don't mind the smell, it's a good lipstick to try, but I would try to wait until they have that buy one get one sale because these are so expensive. I don't know why they're so expensive at the store. And they have a weird smell. How crazy is that? Yeah. <laughs> But even with the crazy smell, it's still one of my favorites, but I only bought one because um, I think that was my favorite pink from the whole line that they got going on. I also have like a nudie color, um, but that's a whole nother video. So anyway, here's all the beautiful swatches of all the lipsticks. And the brands I mentioned were Rimmel, CoverGirl, Revlon, Maybelline, Wet n Wild, and NYX. Um, so yeah, I love all these, you guys. Love, 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 love. They're amazing. And like, they're all so different. Can you imagine having so many different colored pinks? Really? <laughs> okay, let me know in the comments section down below what is your favorite drugstore pink lipstick. And maybe I've never tried it before and I can check it out and give it a go. So that concludes my video, you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!